shoulder checked on the way up here. Is the Bruins game on? No, not tonight. It's great to be up here, folks. I uh, haven't had the opportunity to perform this close to hair update in my life. I could use some foils, as you can tell. It's been a while since I've done comedy, just getting uh, getting used to my surroundings here. Love the instruments everywhere. I have never met anyone, male or female, that's had sex with a trombone player. Have you? Think about that one. Who bangs a trombone player? Oh my goodness. But no, I've been out of the loop, been out of the loop uh, with uh, comedy for uh, almost a year now. And people are like, well, where you been? Fact is, folks, I had a short but rectally invasive stay in North Korea prison. No. <laughs> but I'm back. Took it up the hoop a few times, but good to go. Good to go. Now, fact is, I had, a, I had a really major head injury about a year ago. And uh, I don't know if anyone's ever experienced that here, but um, it sucks. Like massive concussions. A lot of things, uh, a lot of things don't work properly, you know. <laughs> or, or should I put it, they work when they want to work. Like I wake up out of a dead sleep at two thirty in the morning, fucking rock hard. <laughs> Absolutely rock. And the irony is, I'm, I'm laying face down in the stairwell. So, like, how is this? How is this possible? My girlfriend would get upset all the time. And I'm like, look, baby, I am the horniest version of flaccid. Like, you have, you have no idea. You have no idea. Winter's been pretty brutal this winter. Wouldn't you say, folks? I don't know what you do about keeping warm, but, uh... I started ramping up the fiber intake. Bear with me here. It's like God giving you your own space heater, you know? You just let them rip. Especially if you're wearing thermals. It's like someone put a wet towel in the microwave for like seven minutes. I'm gonna get into the moral issues here, folks. Porn. I, uh, I've been involved with it since, since the late 80s, when there was much more hair down there than uh, there is now. And uh, there was this tract of woods by the elementary school that I went to. We used to call them the porno woods. And I'll tell you the story. One day, we're out at recess, and I look down in the snow, I see this paper flapping. I'm like, what the hell is that? The closer I get and I observe it, I'm like, holy shit. That's a good looking breast. So I start following other pieces of paper and lo and behold, it leads us to the woods. Now it was the middle of winter, couldn't find anything, but we never forgot about that. Sure enough, the springtime went out into the woods. We find ourselves the plastic market basket bag with a bunch of saturated hustlers in it. And we'd go there every day. Cause that's what you do when you're 11. You hang out in the woods with your friends and get hard. <laughs> right? Back then, it was a project to get those friggin' things. Right? And the only way you can get, like, a porno mag or a video is either you knew someone that had an older brother or a French-Canadian father. Like, that was... Like, there was no other way. And if you watch porn in the 90s, the desire, because you remember the scrambled channels? Remember that? You go to like the Spice channel, it'd be like channel 63 and scramble, and you just keep hitting zero. You just keep hitting zero, and you'd see a boob like every minute. <laughs> 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 but if you didn't have the scrambled channels, you know, you went with like Telemundo, like the Spanish, you know? You know, we go with the Spanish network here. If you didn't have that, you just raped someone. That's what you did. That's what you had to do. But man, I, uh, I had a buddy that told me he didn't masturbate till he was 16 years old. 16. 
That's like waiting until you're 30 to try pizza. <laughs> I was already on my second friggin' wrist surgery <laughs> by that time. Punching the clown to everything. MTV, Saved by the Bell, Pac-10 hoops, like whatever. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> shit. Sorry, let me refer to my list. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna end on that highest note that I, uh, that I left you with there, folks. This has been, uh, been great to get back up on stage and uh, keep it going for all the comics tonight here at the Old I appreciate that. And I'll give you back to your host. No, come this way, please. Around the pillar. Around. <laughs> all right. I mean, after a shoulder check to bring me up, I'm gonna do whatever, whatever you want. There we go. Let's keep it going. For the very funny Chris Bender? Yes. Yes, I got it.